Hello guys, this is Castle Perfect here, bringing you another episode of my Pokemon Wi-Fi battle series here, and uh, today I'm using my own gameplay. This was one of the battles that I had like three days ago, but um, definitely worth uh, the upload because in this game I get to showcase two of my personal sets, you know, custom sets that nobody has used in the entire Pokemon history of everything. <clears throat> so I'm really happy that I'm gonna be able to showcase this uh, this uh, two Pokemon in this game. Which is a very cool thing on my part. And right off the bat, my enemies um, brings out a sword arc, and it's actually not a real pushing. It is the real sword arc because it uses night night days, and uh, it actually got a crit on my Swampert and one hit KO'd it, which is kind of unfortunate. But oh well, what can I do about it? I sent out uh, my Tentacruel afterwards, and then he goes for another night night days, and uh, does a fairly amount of damage right there, um, which makes me thinking it's probably just a choice specs. But um, again, I go ahead and put up some uh, toxic, uh, toxic spikes on his field. So whenever he switches out into something that is not steel or poison, I uh, will get, uh, you know, like uh, poisoned, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to break the, like the bullet punch or, you know, the U-turn whatsoever he was about to do or to set up like a search dance, which I was uh, very com uh, com confident I would survive if he was attacking afterwards with my infernape. But um. I scared him and uh, I go out into my Infernape, he brings out the Garchomp and uh, definitely a very good switch on his part but unfortunately for him I do have the Aerodactyl which I switch him in and uh, I go for the Ice Fang which is uh, very good, I'm gonna be able to one shot KO the thing because I do have Choice Band and uh, he brings back the Seasaur back to the field so I'm guessing he's, he's definitely gonna go for the Bullet Punch so I might as well just go out into my personal custom set Salamence and uh, get the intimidate going on so I can lower its attack and uh, make sure that the bullet punch does less damage and uh, what my Salamence consists of is uh, being a Pokemon that goes for iron defense which is I think a fourth generation move and uh, being able to recover its HP after it has set up because it has careful nature which allows it to have max special defense in other words my Salamence is just a monster when it comes down to uh, you know like defend itself for a very long period and that's what my Salamence is all about so anyways what happens here I switch out into my Infernape and he also switches out into his uh, Wii file I just make sure I'll just kill it with a Mac Punch for some reason he decided to stay in and I finish him off um, and then he brings out the other one the Zoroark and I do finish him off as well because I thought you know what this is probably not a real, real uh, like uh, Conqueror so it's probably gonna be the Zoroark again he's gonna be trying to scare me off but um uh, good prediction on my part right there, and I finish off his uh, sword arc with a mag punch, absolutely gorgeous. And here is what it, it where things get a little bit solid because this guy just did not want to give up. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to uh, go for the roost here after he went for the mag punch, uh, getting a boost from the uh, fighting gym, which in this game you know like powers up your uh, fighting attack for a certain uh, for that certain uh, you know like turn and it becomes really powerful so I'm gonna be able to set up an iron defense another iron defense and what I'm basically doing here we're both uh, setting up on each other but the thing that he hasn't realized yet is that he is toxic so there is no way for him to win this match anymore uh, because I have two layers of toxic packs on the field and I do have the upper hand so uh, his conqueror goes down without even attacking me after all so many setups well, and uh, then he brings out that uh, you know tank growth, and uh, I do have to admit my opponent is not like the the best player in the world, but this guy's kind of stupid sometimes. But whatever, he's gonna bring out the tank growth, and I'm gonna be doing dragon close over and over again since I have set up enough to survive anything that tank growth has to offer. And um, since the tank growth is just pretty much poisoned or toxic, um, it will be uh, dying very very soon. So um, it went down. And, or I mean he fled because then he saw that there is absolutely no more chance for him to win and uh, that was pretty much the game I went 5 and 0 in this one so he was only able to take one uh, uh, one Pokemon out of my team and that was because of the crit at the beginning otherwise it would have been a 6 though but um, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video what I'm aiming for in this video is we're gonna be 130 likes if you guys can bring me there you guys are fucking awesome, seriously. And no, I have not forgotten about the special video that I'm about to do. Well, not about to do, but I'm. I still need to get a, a real life cameraman. So um, that's gonna that's gonna take some time. But guys, thank thanks for watching. Make sure to bring me those 130 uh, likes, which would be definitely awesome. And I check you guys a later in the next video. Peace.